welcome to my first video. My name is Sue Grace and it feels weird to talk to a camera, but that's fine. <laughs> video is gonna be about acne and basically how I killed it so I started having acne like at the beginning of quarantine my face got really 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 bad um I'll put some pictures over here for you to see it was pretty bad I used to have like a lot of acne it was like right here and like a lot of in my cheeks it was like my whole face and it was really painful because I think that it was cystic acne and nothing really was helping it was pretty bad and I really didn't know what to do <laughs> So I had this pretty painful acne for like more than a year, like I'm telling you. It started like um, April kind of, but like it also gave me a lot of time to like experiment with different things. I have some clips because I tried to record this ages ago. Um, I tried this um, differing cream it, that it helped for me in the work. Um, it just left me with really patchy dry skin that was itchy, irritated and I know that like that's like side effects for retinoids and stuff it was pretty bad so I, I needed to stop using that and it also made my acne way worse then I, I tried like a lot of like pimple like the pimple patches and everything and really nothing was working like hmm. but um, I think that I kind of got it and well, well without further ado I will tell you how I got rid of my acne and then I will proceed to show you like my skincare routine and okay just for okay PSA I have no um face makeup right now the only thing that I have is um brow gel and I have some mascara so okay I'll do a close-up <laughs> um so as you can see my skin is not perfect not even now I'm still trying to get it to what it was before I'll put like a picture somewhere over here of how my skin was before it was pretty much like glass skin so when acne hit me, I was crying because my skin was perfect and no, it wasn't. So, okay. So I do have like a pimple over here that is already dry. It's already, well, it's red, but it died. <laughs> then of course I have some redness. I have hyperpigmentation. Um, yeah, like I'm telling you, acne like left this um, dark spots everything i pick at those last night so definitely don't do that but yeah pretty much everything is okay and yeah my skin is clear finally and i have no painful sits or anything else so i'll try to help you <laughs> okay let's go so the first tip that i will give you is don't be harsh with your skin you need to let your skin breathe I know like when you have acne, you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get this one and this one and this one and I'm gonna use salicylic acid and this other acid and I'm gonna use some kind of retinoid for this and that. Um, doesn't work, my friend. And I'm telling you that I learned the harsh way. Um, like I'm telling you, when I used the frame gel, everything went downhill for me, but that's my experience. Um, if you tried it and it works for you, then that's fine. But for me, it didn't work. It was way too harsh. Like you can see, I have a lot of redness. My skin is pretty sensitive, so it didn't work at all for me. Um, so yeah, um, try to go slow. Use gentle products, especially if you have sensitive skin. Like don't go for super harsh products. Try to go for like um, slow ones. Like for example, I have this retinoid, which is really good. Oops. <laughs> so I have this retinoid. Um, it's by Burst. It's pretty good actually, and it's very gentle. Um, I didn't notice any side effects. It really helps my skin. It doesn't leave my skin itching or anything like that. Just, it's really good for my acne and also for my marks, I notice it. My second tip has to do a little bit more with like, the things that you do in your regular life. For me, one of the biggest changes was to kind of cut a little bit of like dairy. I love cheese, I know, I love cheese, it's sad, but um, I don't eat it as much as I used to and I also don't really drink milk, cow milk, um, I only drink almond milk or like some kind of like um, vegetable, I mean not vegetable, <laughs> like nut milk and I feel like that makes me feel way better. I don't really have um, like this kind of breakouts, but yeah. So I'm not a specialist like I said before. 
but I was on birth control for a little bit, not a good time, not a good while because it wasn't helping me. Well, it was helping my acne a little bit, but mm, I didn't feel good. Like in my body, it was, it gave me really bad headaches and stuff. I don't know, but it did help a little bit to kill my acne, but yeah, you need to go to a doctor for that. So definitely do it. Another tip that I could give you is to wash your stuff. I know it's kind of obvious, but you need to wash your pillows. You need to wash your, like if you dry your, your face with like a towel, you need to clean it because you don't want to like accumulate a lot of bacteria over there. So yeah, just simply clean everything. And yeah. Oh, and yeah, don't pick your skin. It's gonna get worse. I'm telling you this one before. Like a day before, like a day ago, this one here, and then I used that magic tool, magic tool, and like it messed it up with my skin. Yup, don't use it, guys. Unless you know how to do proper extractions, don't do them because they're gonna get way worse. Okay, so now I'm gonna quit talking and we're going into my skincare routine, and I will give you some recommendations that really work for me. And I have quite a few. So, yep, going into it. Okay, so I don't really know how to call this a step. This is my cleansing step. I use an oil based um, cleanser before I go in with like my um, face wash. So, yeah, I use this one. It's pretty much pretty basic. This is from Target. It's like three bucks, but it's good. It works. It's an oil free eye makeup remover. I feel like this one is great, it does the job, it doesn't break me out. It's just for like my mascara or like if I'm using foundation that day, then I will use that. Then for my cleansers, I go in either with the CeraVe um, Renew and Salicylic Acid Cleanser for normal skin, which I found that it's pretty good. It, it also has like a good price point. It's like $14, I think, and maybe a little bit less. I'm not sure. It really helps. I don't know if it's like a holy grail as everyone claims it to be because I bought it for the hype, but it really helps. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I will say that this one dries my face pretty badly when I use it like every single day and day and night. So I don't do that. So I have a second cleanser for that. I have the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. It doesn't have fragrance, it's really good. It doesn't foam, it's more like a cream, so you just put it on and that. Yeah, but I feel like this one works, especially when I have those days in which my skin is like patchy and dehydrated. But yeah, that works, so it's good. Okay, um, so about this one. So after cleansing, sometimes like exfoliate, it's not all the time, it's probably like once a week or maximum twice. But yeah, I either use the Thermologica, is that how you say that, Thermologica? Yeah, daily microfoliant. I don't use it daily, but yeah. This one is pretty expensive. I honestly just use it because I got it from a giveaway that they were doing. But yeah, I got this one, it's pretty good. I like it, it's like a rice thingy. It's with the soaps and it's not that harsh on your skin. And yeah, it works and yeah. <laughs> Okay, or I use this one. This is the Pixie Treats Peel and Polish. I feel like this one is a little bit more harsh. Well, it's harsher a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's this is like a mix of both um chemical and physical exfoliation. I feel like this one is good for like those days when you do like a full spa routine or something like that. But yeah, I like this one. Okay, then we're going to toner. I use this just once a day. Oh, I forgot to say it. Um, I wash my face twice a day and the other one is just like once or twice per week, the exfoliator. Okay, um, now for the toner. I use this just at night because I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I use this one. This is the Cosurx One Step Green Hero Calming Pad. It's like this, it's really cute. Um, yep. I like this one. I feel like it really helps. Like when I have like really red sits, like let's say this one, it really helps to calm it down. So like it goes away faster. I don't know. I really like this one. Like it comes in like little pads. Well, I'll show you. Go 
combs like this. And yeah, I like those. They're pretty affordable. They're like 20 bucks. So yeah, I really like those ones as toners. And I go with a treatment. Okay, so here are my most important recommendations. All this time, um, for like more than three months or so, I have been using this one. This is a um, Naturium Serum 12% Plus Sink. You can get this at Target. I think it's like 16 bucks. It's not that bad. As you can see, like I've gone through quite, through like a few of them, you know. I feel like these ones are really good. They really help my skin at the time. Like they made my skin way softer. They help with like oil production and they really help my sits. I use this one, well, I use my serums twice a day. So yeah, these ones are really, really good. Sponsor me. Okay. But the one that I'm trying right now, it's this one. It's the Blemish Spot Clearance Serum by Coserx. Um, it has Ectoin and Centella Asiatica. Um, so I've been trying this one for like just a few, let's say a week. Okay, yeah, a week. Um, I feel like it's pretty good. It has helped me. I feel like it works the same as the Naturium Nacinamide one. And yeah, it's pretty good. It also has niacinamide, so I feel like this one is better. But yeah, they're about the same price point, and I like both. Okay, so those were one of the treatments that I use. I actually use two treatments. Then I go in with this Gentle Retinol Serum, which is from Burst. You can also get this Target. It's it's not that cheap, it's like $22, but it's fine. It's not that expensive either. And I've gone through two of those, and I think that I will definitely repurchase this. This are like this retinol is a lifesaver. Like I told you, I really have a pretty well, I really have pretty sensitive skin. So anything that I use, it's most likely gonna break me up. Break me out, not up, out. Yeah, it's gonna break me out or it's gonna kill my skin barrier. But yeah, with this one, that doesn't happen. And I mean, I feel like it's pretty good. It helps with like my, my um, dark spots, also my acne, it's pretty amazing. You should try it. I know it's not gonna have a lot of side effects because it's supposed to be gentle, but yeah, that works. Then I'm going in with a moisturizer. I feel like this is super important, like a super important step. You need to moisturize your face. You need to have a healthy skin barrier so that you can so that you can heal properly and you can heal your acne. So yeah, you need to use a good moisturizer for that. And especially if you're using all those treatments like the niacinamide or like, I don't know, retinol, you need to have a good moisturizer. Like, hear me out. So the one that I'm using right now, it's this. Um is the Ren Clear Calm Replenish Gel Cream. Um, I bought this at Sephora. I know it's pretty expensive, but it's okay. Um, I don't have a lot of thoughts about this one. It doesn't work. I wish it was a little bit more uh, moisturizing, but it's pretty okay. Spot treatments. I only use this at night because I know they can be dangerous to use during the day. So first of all, I use this one. It's the Zucchini Acid Treatment by the Inky List. You could get this at Sephora for like nine bucks. And I'm telling you, this is worth it. And it deserves the hype. <laughs> I bought this because I saw it on TikTok and like some YouTubers were talking about it. And I was like, I have acne, why not? Let's try it. But it's worth the hype, I'm telling you. At least for me, it's really good. It works. It disappears my sits like this, like magic, I'm telling you. I'm not able to do this, but you get the point it's pretty good i like it i will totally recommend i only put that in certain places like of course in spot treatment just so just in a few places and that's it okay and before i totally forget you need to use your sunscreen use spf um your skin is gonna thank you like 50 years from now yeah just use skincare listen to hiram <laughs> and the one that i'm using now is this cola um classic face sunscreen it's not greasy it's lightweight hydration and it doesn't leave any white casts so i think it's great it's good and it's also it also has like a good price point it's like kind of drugstore you can get it at target so yeah use your spf is really important it's going to help your skin and it's going to protect it so just use it <laughs>
Um, so there's my face, this is how I end at the end of the night. I'm ready to go to sleep. It's currently like 12 a.m., probably one. Who knows? But yeah, this is pretty much what I do and what helped me. So yeah, um, feel free to leave like a question or a comment down below. Okay, so thank you so much for accompanying me in my skincare routine and for watching this video all the way through. Thank you so much. I hope these tips are helpful and I will list everything below. I have no sponsorships, this is my first video. But anyway, so feel free to use those links. So subscribe if you like my video. I'll be coming up with more videos. But yeah, thank you for watching and I hope that you have a good morning, afternoon, evening. Bye. <laughs>